Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Constance the Reader and today we are doing a part two, if you will, of manga haul. But there's a little extra in this. So the last manga haul I did uh, last week, I think it was, I talked about regular books that I bought. But this time I wanted to talk about the DVDs and Blu-rays that I've been buying. I am probably going to be deleting most of my streaming services sometime next year. The only one I do plan on keeping is Crunchyroll just because I absolutely cannot stand watching <laughs> commercials during anime. For some reason, it just really pisses me off, but I don't care about any of the other ones. But I already owned quite a few Blu-rays and DVDs that I kept from like back in the day. All right, I'm 34. So that's what we used to get when there were, when Netflix was just like, hey, I want to uh, <laughs> rent DVDs. So an upgraded version of Blockbuster, if you will. But since I know that I will be deleting streaming services, for the last few months, I've been, along with getting my used manga, I've been getting used DVDs and Blu-rays because I'm going to eventually have that as I'm watching things. And I just wanted to kind of include it too. I've noticed more and more people have been talking about their, their hauls for DVDs and Blu-rays on TikTok. So I figured people might wanna see that here. If so, let me know. Uh, but yes, we have quite a few things that we have to talk about that I have purchased. Now the vast majority of the stuff I'm gonna talk about is used, but there are some new releases. And I will also say that this is not the only uh, other video I will be doing in the month of November. I have another one because I did two orders from the Crunchyroll Right Stuff sale. <laughs> They're on their way, I know. I've got, I've got issues. How many times do I have to say it? But without further ado, let's get into this manga and DVD Blu-ray haul. So these two are not used. I went back to Books A Million the other day to get some of the other new releases that I was really interested in. But I know I had, I think I mentioned in my last video that I was just gonna go ahead and get the next two volumes in Smoking Behind the Supermarket with you. And I did. So I have the first three volumes. I think this is only three volumes. This is a pretty short one, right? If I remember correctly. If not, this being the last one, I don't think it's gonna be that long. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I have all three now. And I am really excited to start it eventually. Now we're getting into some used volumes. So these three I got from Second and Charles sometime last week. I got volumes one, two, and three of Delinquent Daddy and Tender Teacher. So this just looked like it was very cute. It looks very wholesome. I assume it's wholesome. And I don't know, I think it's gonna be nice. I've seen some people talk about this and I know that this is not like super short. Like I think I saw a new copy of this today at Second and Charles. It was like maybe like, volume five or six. I'm not saying that I'm going to uh, run out and get every single one of them, although y'all about to see when I kind of did that. <laughs> but at least for these used ones, I'm, I'm happy to have them. What can I say? The next three are going to be newer releases. I had to get The Villainess's Guide to Not Falling in Love, volume three. I really like this series so far. I can't deny as I've said many a time, if it's a villainess story, I'm probably going to like it. I'm probably going to watch it and read it because that's like my favorite trope. I can't help myself. Leading us into I'll Become a Villainess Who Goes Down in History Volume 1. I had not heard of this one, but I think I just saw this has an anime on Crunchyroll. And I don't know, it just looked like it's going to be very, very cute. So I had to get it. And of course, I had to get Goku Rakugai Volume 3. I was really hoping that this would get put out at um, Books A Million early, and it technically did. I got these three volumes on Monday. They came out Monday or Sunday? Actually, I think I got them on Sunday. And they all, uh, The Villainess's Guide to Falling In Love and then Goku Raku Guy technically was supposed to be released today online or whatever, which is the 19th. So <laughs> I'm so excited. And today I got these two used volumes at Second and Charles. I got Chained Soldier. I've been seeing, like I always see this cover and I'm really intrigued by it. I really, really am intrigued by the series. I don't really know what it's about, but it's just something about the cover. It makes me really want to read it. And I also went ahead and got Cheeky Brat volume one. 
everybody talks about this. I know I, I feel like I hear hit or miss things. Like some people like it, some people don't. Some people are like, it's okay. Like I don't hate it, but I don't love it. So I figured, you know what? This was only $6. Let me, let me, let me go ahead and try it out. These next two I got when I got Ro Goku Raku Guy. And I didn't know that this was out yet, so I had to get it. And it's the light novel of The Condemned Villainess Goes Back in Time and Aims to Become the Ultimate Villain. <gasps> She's gorgeous. I think the next volume for the manga comes out in December. Probably, I think like that first or second week of December. So going to continue on with the manga, going to continue on getting these. I haven't started the light novel yet, but I will. I will one day. And this was just, I don't know, this looked so intriguing and I realized, you know what, I, I know that I'm not like picking up every single late novel that I own and reading it in one sitting, but I know that I like fantasy. So maybe I should try giving it like a fantasy light novel a go of, a, of something that I haven't read a manga of. And Witch and Mercenary light novel looked really good. So I'll read the back for you guys. A dangerous duo, a deadly path home. Nothing in this world is more dangerous than a witch. The epitome of fear and terror. They can summon floods on a whim, conjure balls of fire out of the air, or even destroy entire countries overnight, incur their wrath, and no one is safe. At least that's what everyone thinks. And it's the very reason they all want Siaisha dead. After yet another violent battle for her life, she teams up with Zig, a mercenary, and they depart for unknown lands to find somewhere she can live in peace. But is the pair any match for the lost magic and vicious monstrosities that lie ahead? I don't know. It's just something about that seemed like, you know what? For someone like me who does like fantasy, but I have kind of fallen off of regular fantasy novels in the recent years, uh, I figure I should really try this. If you've read it, let me know what your thoughts are. These next two are used. I literally got them today at Second and Charles. And that was Watakoi Volume 4 and Volume 6. So I have the first two volumes of the series and I've always wanted all of it, but I never started it. I kind of got, I think, a few pages into Volume 1 and just lost interest. Like, it just wasn't in the mood. I know that I will probably like it because it's adult office romance, you know? So I don't have to really worry about, like, the angstiness of kids, you know, as teenagers in high school. But I had told myself when I hadn't read the first two volumes, like I think the first year or two that I owned them, okay, don't keep getting it. That didn't last very long because I do it with every other fucking series. But today, because I saw these, I was like, you know what? I think I want to go ahead and do it because I pulled the two volumes out that I want to read and I put them near my seat in the living room. And you know that I mean business when it's there. Not that I will be picking up everything that is always beside me when I in my sit in the living room, but that's what I definitely am trying to read. So I want to read it. We're reorganizing uh, everything upstairs when it comes to the gaming room. So I bought like a smaller, like a three piece, like room essentials target bookcase that I'm going to put near my gaming setup because we're moving it out of the room that's with Devin because I was too loud the other day. <laughs> playing a scary scary game and I mean you can I just talk loud so you can hear me in his microphone so I said you know what let's just move me back to where I originally was right outside that room and you're still close enough to help me if I need help with anything in the game or with my computer but I'm far enough away from you that you should not pick me up on your microphone so get excited to see that eventually because I will be showing you guys that. These two are new. I got these on Sunday. I got Yes, No, or Maybe. This looked really cool. I don't know. Like the big thing that stood out was that this is a love, a boy's love light novel turned film and is now a manga. So I was like, okay. I would be interested in seeing the film. I would also be interested in reading the light novel eventually, but you know what? Why not try the first volume? And of course, one of the first things I had to get that was out on <laughs> November 19th was Alpha Wolf Girl Omega Wolf Boy. As I said, I can't stop myself from being like intrigued by the story. I know that in the first volume, there, there was not a single consensual uh, sexual situation going on. But... It's just something about like these characters. I want to know more about them. I already started it and I'm already getting what I want with more information about, is it Okami or Okami? 
oh Akko I think she's Akko got a little bit of background on her and I'm really interested in that and right where I left off I kind of I kind of looked ahead a bit and we get more background of Ichiro his childhood which was very confusing to me when we saw flashbacks of it in the last manga I don't know it was like weird because thank you to the person in the comments who explained like the Omega Alpha situation down in the comments <laughs> so I I need to go back and reread that comment and as I go forward because we see a glimpse of his like childhood and something that his mom says is really fucking weird so I don't know I don't know I'm interested though I'm interested to keep going I'm, I'm gonna keep going that's gonna happen and then these last four are used I've been wanting this I really have been wanting to read this and I guess I could have just read it on the Viz app because I do have that I do pay $1.99 for it but I don't crack that thing open not nearly enough but when I saw that these were used I was like okay I'm, I'm gonna get them and that was Boys Abyss volume one and volume two I did not know what it was about and I really don't care I just really like the way that the covers look so <laughs> that's why I got them and these as well I didn't technically know what they were about but every time I see the covers I've been wanting them so I was really excited when Bless volume one and volume two were used this like cover in particular I, I know this is the first volume but I'm pretty sure I saw the second volume first somehow and it reminded me of how I met my soulmate because I love the way everybody's faces are on the cover so I had to get it and if you've read it and you like it let me know in the comments let me know what your thoughts are and the big get today which I did not need this I know but I got it anyway because the vast majority of these were there I got a lot of Kamisama Kiss. So I got volumes one through six, <laughs> eight, nine, and eight through 12, 17, 22, 23, 24, 25. I have no idea how long Kamisama Kiss is, but I'm committed now. So <laughs> I have it. I'm kind of putting myself in the same situation as I did with uh, you know what? I would say with Yu Yu Hakusho, I got like a lot of them and then I'm just like slowly filling in the gaps of what I, I didn't get. And I, I guess that's what's going to be happening to me with Kimi no Tidoke because I have the first three volumes, but so much shit. Like I can't get it. Like it's back ordered on Crunchyroll or, you know, I try to stay away from getting things on Amazon, but like even on Amazon, you can't find them. And yeah here's the dvds okay i'm very excited i got a lot of really good stuff today so i got the thing so this is the i think 2011 one the most recent the thing i saw this on amazon the other day and by the other day i meant earlier this year i was obsessed like it actually scared the fucking shit out of me and i'm like as i get older i feel like i'm definitely a scaredy cat but i still force myself to watch scary movies <laughs> Today I got Face Off. I like Face Off, okay? I feel like people who like Face Off, we know each other. Because it's not that it's like the best movie ever, but that's not the point. It's not the point about it being the best. It's just that I don't hate it. Uh, I went ahead and got Workaholics Season 1 and 2 and then Season 3. Now, I really did like Workaholics when I was younger, when I was still watching Comedy Central like that. And part of the, like, what you'll see as I'm going through this is I do have, like, a lot of TV shows. I definitely am somebody who has, like, a comfort show that I watch constantly in the background. And even though I do watch new things sometimes, I'm not watching a lot of new things as much as it might seem like I do. I, I tend to just rewatch the same thing. So once I get rid of uh, the streaming services, like, these are going to be the things that I would have probably watched anyway had I still had like HBO or Amazon or something and I don't ha actually have Amazon Devin does so I watched up on his account but like Netflix and all that stuff so moving forward Veep season one I'm definitely gonna get all of Veep this is a big deal now if y'all know if y'all know about this we will absolutely be friends misfits season one and season three I also have season two 
I just don't have it here. And Misfits is fucking fantastic. Okay, first season fucking kills it. I did get season three, even though I was sad that, um, you know, I always hate when like people slowly start to dip off. That's why I'm not getting anything past season three. Simon and Alicia's story, I'm pretty sure it ends in this season. Girl, don't get me started because I fucking bawled my eyes out. But I can't wait to watch that all over again. It's funny because I first saw that, I think, randomly. I think it showed up on TV once. No, I started watching it because it was on Tumblr. So I went on Apple Music and bought everything. So in a, funnily enough, I actually own season one, two, and three, but it's only on my iPod, <laughs> which I still have an iPod, but I have no idea where it is. So I could have just cranked that open and watched it on my fucking iPod, but eh, no, that's too much. And then to me, a really good fucking series i just need to get the first season of this the tutors season two and season three i just need season one i love the tutors okay i remember watching this like when netflix first put it on so this is many years ago i weirdly really like the tutors and like the whole history of like the war of the roses and everything when we were in school and we had to memorize divorce beheaded died divorce beheaded survived I don't know why that really stuck with me, but I've always liked the Tudors and that whole story. And and this is when you first see Henry Cavill. Now, I don't really fuck with Henry Cavill like that that much anymore, but I was really fucking with Henry Cavill in this show, okay? Made me happy. Uh, season four of Workaholics. I do not care if something is a DVD or a Blu-ray, by the way. I never cared, but Devin was always someone who was like, you should always pay for the Blu-ray once Blu-ray started coming out back in the day. But I'm like, I don't really give a fuck. I don't care. Flubber. You're damn right. Slackers. Okay, Slackers is fucking good. I love this movie so fucking much. Congo. All right, I saw this in theaters with my mother. Okay, I distinctly remember being scared out of my fucking mind, by the way. Congo was just a fucking good fucking movie. I'm sorry, I, I, I live and die by that, okay? I went ahead and just, because this was $9 for a four feature film of Die Hard. Hell yeah. It is Die Hard, Die Hard 2. Two of the best ones in my opinion. Die Hard with a Vengeance and Live Free Die Hard. I know I've seen the last two, but I don't remember them. I technically already owned Shrek 2, but I did not own Shrek. So I had to get that shit. And then a movie that breaks my heart every time I think about it. But you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to, I'm still going to own it so I can watch it again. Encanto. Ah! Oh, God, tell me, let me tell you something. I know that it is partly because I am getting older, but, and I talk about this all the time, I'm a fucking crybaby. It, it, it just is what it is. I remember watching this for the first time and Coco for the first time. As soon as the shit turned on, okay, and I got to see how beautiful the animation was, I started crying. And then there's so many good songs in this. Um, we don't talk about Bruno. I know I annoyed the fucking shit out of Devin for a week, maybe two weeks when I just would not stop singing that song. Yeah, so, and if you didn't notice, I'm wearing my one piece, you know, little sweater. There was like a deal in Crunchyroll where it was like, buy one, get one free for sweaters. <laughs> so I had to get this cardigan because I don't really wear cardigans like that. And... Christmas sweaters, one piece Christmas sweaters for me and Devin to wear to match. So I'm excited. But yeah, that is my manga and DVD Blu-ray haul. If you liked it, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, is there anything that you think that I should be getting? Let me know. Anything that you, anything you recommend? You know, I take, you know, I take requests y'all. And I usually get it just because. <laughs> But yeah, thank you so much for watching my video. If you liked the video, please like the video. If you like, like it, subscribe, hit the notification bell, follow me on other social media. It's in the description box down below. Oh, and I also am gonna add some more things. So if you're like on Blue Sky, add me. If you're on Fable, I'm starting to use Fable and Blue Sky. I'm gonna put that stuff down. Like I'm gonna update my links and shit. Follow me on there because even though I'm still keeping my Twitter, I was on there before Elon Musk bought it. So I refuse to give it up. I did make it private. Uh, and I'm just trying to, I'm trying to get the hang of Blue Sky more. So if you're on there, add me, let's be friends. Same thing with Fable. And there might be another thing I just recently downloaded. I, I'm also on Tumblr. I need to put that on. Uh, yeah, add me. 
Let, let's be friends, please. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. You have a good day. Goodbye.